Hello everyone, Shaman Scene here, and today we're doing a quick video on how to disable ICMP ping on a Cisco router. Um, so to do this, we'll be using a access list uh, on a on our Cisco router and applying it to an interface. Okay. So the very first thing we'll want to do is, like I said, we're going to go into configuration and create an access list. So we'll need an extended access list. Oops. Access list 101 deny ICMP any any echo okay. and then because we're just doing this um, basic access list we'll just do access list 101 permit IP any any okay. we'll now you'll see that I have my router here and I have a desktop pinging this router. Okay. Once I apply the access list instantaneously, this will not be able to ping this router. Okay, we'll start the okay. So this machine will not be able to ping this router after I run this command. So we'll go into our interface we want to apply the access list to. And then it's IP access group 101 in. Okay. And we'll see right away that the ping has stopped. And we're not able to ping this router. We're not getting replies from the router anymore. So there might be a variety of reasons why you may not want to do this, or sorry, you may want to do this. One, to prevent this, so someone from outside your network pinging your device uh, to see if it's up. However, this will not stop uh, DDoS attacks just because uh, we're not responding to the echo to the ICMP ping. Th the traffic is still hitting this router. And it's just that this router is not responding back to this machine. Okay. So um, that, again, is not a security technique against DDoS. However, there is some research to suggest and there, uh, even practically to suggest that if you do not have this type of a filter applied to your external interface, you are, um, y you are scanned a lot more and... Uh, you'll find that if you have let's say something like SSH you'll find that you find more brute force attacks against that and that reason why is because some of the scripts out there will attempt a, an old-fashioned ping towards an IP that it may come across and if that IP responds it for sure knows that you're back that there's something behind that and then they'll do a port scan and you know find a service that's behind there so this has been a quick video on how to disable ICMP ping uh, if you have any questions comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below you can also visit my website which is www.seanmancini.com okay and you can also visit me on Facebook uh, just search Sean Mancini thank you everyone for watching have a good day